This is the beautiful Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, where Real Madrid have plied their trade so successfully for decades. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith alongside me. Our action is from La Liga, it's Real Madrid against Levante. I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. First half started by Real Madrid. This is the Real Madrid lineup. In goal, Alphonse Areola. Kevin De Bruyne starts, he was man of the match in his last game. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. Ashraf Hakimi. Here's Casemiro. Tries the shot. What a save that was. The agility on show there was outstanding. And here comes the corner. Well, the play has broken down now. Chelsea must be wondering. They had Kevin De Bruyne and Romelu Lukaku, great friends, incidentally, both young Belgians, of course. It seems set for them to break through at Stamford Bridge, and they've gone their separate ways and done brilliantly. Yeah, well, some people mature at different rates, don't they? And I think he's probably a, a later developer, Kevin De Bruyne, but he has not blossomed. Now, Danny Ceballos. Here's the chance. A really close, great technique there. Oh, there's no finer sight than when you get that right. Unlucky. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Tries to shot here. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Still can't believe another head, you know, after that shot. And what a save it was from the keeper. Ceballos. De Bruyne. Morales. Impressive in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. Kept out by Ariola without too much difficulty. Now Casimiro, Ceballos. Going forward with real purpose now. Corner given after that tackle. In goes the corner. It's De Bruyne. And that is the post he's hit. And it's a goal kick. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Our man Alan McAnally at Real Sociedad. And from that match, he's got news of a goal. It's a goal for Atletico Madrid. 28 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting. Must be a goal. Well, that's the opener. And it's been coming. The better side, but you have to score when you're on top. We wondered whether they would do that, but they have done. And they've done it in fine style. Real Madrid, as expected, have their noses in front. Stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Couldn't it straight away? Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Break quickly when they get possession. Ceballos. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Here's Casemiro. De Bruyne. The 
throw in for Real Madrid. Danny Ceballos. Casimiro. Now with Kevin De Bruyne. That's something for him to chase. It was a good connection, off target, and really from that position, it's a surprise. It is, yeah. And one or two of his teammates having a quiet word, trying to lift him. Interception here. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Looking for teammates in the middle. Well, deep defending here, but he's got the ball. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. I've got his angles wrong with the pass. That's a great interception. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Here's Casimiro. Now Borja Mayoral. He's a very good individual. A real chance here. To the rescue and how. Ashraf Hakimi. Gold news from the Anoeta Stadium. Alan McAnally to tell us about it. It's the second goal for Real Sociedad. 54 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he's been good, and uh, he scored his goal, but he'll be coming off maybe just kicking himself, believing he... That could be a game-winning moment to go two in front now. Real determination here, Alan, to score, wasn't it? It was, yeah. He gets the mark of the top-class striker there. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Restarting at 2-0. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Able to intercept here. Well, Real, as usual, controlling possession today. No wonder they're winning. With that possession, they've taken their chances. They've played some lovely... Well, they've got him behind here. Morales. Break quickly when they get possession. Time to get the ball in. Cross blocked by the first defender. Coming up on our channel, EA TV, very soon, the group stage Champions League fixture coming up for Real Madrid. They'll be facing Paris Saint-Germain away from home. Yeah, high-quality fixture, this one. Surely must score! Good save by the keeper. What do you think about Levante's next game? Yeah, they're playing Eibar in their next match in La Liga. And looking at them, there's little between the two sides. Not long now for Real Madrid. Yet the fans fully expecting to go home with the win here. Into the attacking third. He's going to try it. Well, that's his second today. He's certainly got his shooting boots on. He is the kind of player that can hit his straps like this. Excellent day for him. For Real Madrid, they're just emphasising their superiority and widening the margin. Yeah, I think so. And you look at their overall play and they've deserved it.
Well, it's not easy to find the spirit here that they're going to need in these circumstances as they kick off again. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Cleared away by the defender. Well, I think he's all you want in a player. And Borussia Dortmund have certainly looked at it that way. They have chased him down and now they've got him. Well, considering figures that are bandied about these days, about 35 million isn't bad going. What plans his manager's got for him. Saw the direction of the pass. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Shots on here. Shot blocked here. Swung in from the corner. There was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Just one minute left on the clock. It's with Marco Asensio. We've got two added minutes. That's been signalled now. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Marco Asensio. Casimiro. And he scored for Real Madrid. Well, the game petering out a little bit now, with both sides settling for... That is the final whistle. I can't recall seeing such a one-sided man. It's De Bruyne. It is opening night, a huge night for both sets of fans. Match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Who will get off to a flying start? It's PSG, they take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Real Madrid. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Well, last season, Thomas Tuchel became the latest PSG manager to suffer disappointment in Europe. It's been a recurring theme, Lee. Well, absolutely, and failure is the key word because big money investment, in fact, huge money investment. PSG are not judged on how they do in the French League. They dominate in that, six out of the last seven. It's how they do in Europe, and they haven't done well enough. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. 
Keylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And the main striker today is Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Rafael Varane plays. And offside is the decision. It must have been very closely. Well, yeah, the linesman's got the best view of them all. I think he got that right. Here is Joshua Kimmich. Well, match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Always exhilarating. And as we look at the group, what might we see in this section, Lee? Real Madrid always have to be up there as favourites, not only to top the group, but to go all the way to the final. So much quality throughout their team. Paris Saint-Germain are a joy to watch too, as we know. We'll just have to keep a close eye on this group to see how it progresses. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for the visitors. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Regular update. Opportunity to take the lead. And Kevin De Bruyne with the goal. And what a boost that will be for his side. Well, he's gone for pure power. And why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. And they're playing once more. Real Madrid with the lead here. Minier. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Jaden Sancho. Kimmich with it. And let's join Alan McAnally because I understand there's been a goal in the Leverkusen game. Alan. It's a goal for Bayer Leverkusen. A really sumptuous ball. Well, really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. And on the ball, Sarabia. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. To confirm, Leverkusen have scored in that match. And the match is level at 1-1. Under Herrera. Moving the ball effectively. Well, that's how to do it defensively. Casemiro there. An abundance of space. Incisive pass from Mbappe. That's all they can conjure for now. Showing plenty of defensive acumen and conceding the throw-in. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, someone has scored at the Donbass Arena. Let's find out exactly who has scored. Alan McAnally's going to tell us, Alan. It's a goal for the home team. Di Maria sliding it through. Well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close. It was close, but that's all it needs to be, close. He was offside. And that's an important intervention. Well, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there to recap a goal in that game for the home side. And it's now even Steven, 1-1. And the Herrera. Neymar. And Di Maria, nothing doing on the passing front. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Might it be Mbappe? Well, I must say, he's got that chip horribly wrong. Well, if he had that chance again, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't try the chip. Di Maria. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Hazard. Here's Mbappe. De Bruyne. He's going forward well here. Marquinhos with the block. And that is that for the first half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences.
Well, they've lost possession of the ball. This is Kroos. Well, let's join Alan McAdally because a goal has been scored at the Etihad. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Sergio Aguero. That's his second today. A mix-up between the keeper and his defence gave an easy opportunity and he made no mistake from 46 minutes play, 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, it petered out. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Sarabia. Herrera! Tremendous reflexes. Thibaut Courtois. And fired over by Kroos. Real danger. Oh, first rate block by Ramos. And so much to like about the first half performance put in. And now passing it through. Sancho. Mbappe! And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, there's all types of goals. Spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Well, a second goal for them here. I believe there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bayern Munich. 61 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. An exciting La Liga match in prospect here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid facing Sevilla. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast-flowing football there. Well, Real have not had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Sancho. And here's Joshua Chimmy. No nonsense clearance. Mbappe. Chimmy. And return to Mbappe. He took care of it defensively. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed, Lee. Well, Derek, he's got everything for me. A real prospect. Just got to keep himself working hard, listening to his coaches. He's got a real future, this lad. Let's just name our inside the last quarter of an hour. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for the home team. 77 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Good numerical situation. Horse. Very clever read. Casemiro. And on the second half here. And it's almost, Lee, a case of... Whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Real Madrid, how... Will he find the net? PSG have decided to make a double substitution. Now you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. He must finish! Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there, was it? Inside the final five minutes now. Given away by Pogba. Now Minier. Individual quality coming to the fore. Hazard. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Vinicius Jr. And back with Pogba. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And there is the full-time whistle. Real Madrid pick up all three points in this third opening match in the Champions League. Well, it's everything.
Quelques secondes après la fin de ce match, merci d'avoir accepté de répondre à nos questions. Merci pour votre...